What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we have an amazing snapshot that introduces just a few new little things to the game which are really going to change a lot about how we're going to play in the 1.19 update. Before we get into it though, of course I have to say, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it, and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. We cover all the snapshot content and also a ton of other Minecraft related things, so stick around and check out our content. Okay, let's jump right into this snapshot. So first of all, there are some small changes to the mangrove biomes which got introduced last week. Tall mangroves are going to be much more common, and if you've noticed as I walk through and as we're flying over right here, there's also moss carpet on top of the mangrove roots. I think this is a super cool change, adds just a small little greenery effect onto the actual roots of the plant, and gives the swamp a little more life. I do still want to see uh, some more additions to the swamp biome, I do think it's still kind of just... Uh, plain at the moment so hopefully we get some more in there I'm thinking once we add in the fireflies and things like that then we're finally gonna have it exactly where it needs to be other small changes in this update are the LA now regens health at two health per one second so it's going to if you hit it on accident it's gonna regenerate that health pretty much immediately which is definitely very nice to have on the LA since it's going to be a very useful mob but kind of hard to find also, the darkness effect that the Warden gives you is now added into the How Did We Get Here advancement. So that's that advancement is now that much harder as you have to get the darkness effect from the Warden in order to complete the advancement. And speaking of the Warden, that is actually where most of the major changes in this week's snapshot have come. So we're going to go ahead and head down to the deep dark, and then at the end of the video, I'll show you the two new advancements that have come to the Minecraft 1.19 update. Also, if you're wondering what that footage was, that was me just believing that you could climb roots for some reason. So the biggest change for the Warden this week is it now has a ranged attack, which means it's going to be very difficult to actually cheese the Warden. You're not going to be able to just pillar up or hide behind walls because its ranged attack will hit you through walls and also if you're high up on a pillar. This is going to make the Warden so much more lethal. I of course had to test this out, I wanted to not only just see the ranged attack in action, but I also wanted to know what kind of damage it did. Is it going to be just as powerful as the Warden's melee attack, or is it just going to be a small attack that maybe dislodges you or gets you to move so that you can't actually just stand still and avoid the Warden like that. The Warden is now also going to smell you from up to 20 blocks away instead of 6 blocks, which makes it even more dangerous as even if you're not making a sound, it will be able to sniff you if you are within that 20 block range. It also definitely takes a second for the Warden to actually switch to its ranged attack. It wants to make sure first that it's not going to be able to melee you, and once it realizes that, it's going to get angry and then it's going to send a sonic pulse at you. Personally, I think that attack is absolutely terrifying and also great for the Warden as it adds a ranged attack that means players can't just pillar up and shoot a bow at it until it's dead, they actually have to find new inventive ways to fight it. That first attempt I was wearing absolutely no armor and it one shot me, absolutely demolished me, killed me instantly, so I decided to head back down to the deep dark, throw on some netherite armor, and then test out how this would affect me in netherite armor. Obviously this is not with protection 4, so if you do have full netherite you probably have some great enchantments on it as well, which may help a little bit, but I really wanted to see how just base netherite armor would handle against this new ranged attack from the Warden. And while I did just say I absolutely love the Warden's ranged attack, I do think it's a great idea. I really do want them to keep the ranged attack in here, but I do think they should modify it so it does not do as much damage because I think the ranged attack should do less damage than the melee attack. Instead, this, <laughs> this ranged attack does an insane amount of damage. I really did not expect this while wearing full netherite, and I guess I really should have eaten here. I didn't realize I was two hearts down already, but still, this thing does an insane amount of damage. It would take you out in just two hits. I do think they should tone that down a bit, maybe make the range attack take three, maybe four hits, because it killed me instantly. It basically just threw me right off this edge, and that fall immediately killed me because I was at low enough health. 
But now we've taken a look at the Warden, we know what's going to happen there, so let's take a look at the two new advancements that have come in this snapshot. The first one is the advancement to put every variant of the frog on a lead. This does not have to be at the same time, I just teleported to each different biome to get the different types of frogs, put them on leads, and then headed off to the next biome just to get the advancement to show off in this video. The title of this advancement is When the Squad Hops Into Town, and I think this is a great advancement just because it gets the player to actually go out and find the different variants of the frogs for more than just the frog light. They also give you a nice advancement to go along with it. The second advancement added this week is Sneak 100, and basically all you have to do for this one is sneak past any Skulk Sensor or the Warden, and you'll get it automatically. So I just snuck right next to these Skulk Sensors right here and got it instantly. Even if you're trying to avoid the Deep Dark and the Warden because you don't want to die to that, this is still a pretty easy advancement to get because if you just happen upon a Deep Dark biome, you can sneak right next to a Skulk Sensor, get the achievement, and then immediately get the heck out of the Deep Dark. Well, that is all that we have for this week's snapshot. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. We do a ton of different Minecraft content. And of course, we cover all these snapshots leading up to the 1.19 update. We also do update theories, show off the best builds in all of Minecraft and much, much more. So go ahead and check out the rest of our content below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.